And I remember I was sat in the kitchen. I had a lot of people around because they didn't believe it. And I was with CID and sat in the kitchen. And it gets a phone call at about, I think it was quarter past eight. There was only just getting his body out of the water. And that's when I just broke down. And I knew that my life had changed forever. Because it's not just my life. He left a sister behind. She was eight at the time. And to turn around to your daughter, telling her that her brother is not coming home, was the second hardest thing I had to say and accept in my life. The first hardest thing was to accept that my boy wasn't coming back. Oh, because it was a hot day and it was fun and he thought he could handle the water. And the water can handle anybody. Nobody can handle water. Serious, it's not worth it. The, the feeling when it happened is indescribable. Like, you, you, you can't put a word on it. it you do it. He was a friend, but you felt it felt like you lost a family member. It's, it was it's a lot harder than you think it is. Especially, it's, you only think it's water, you know, and then, and the next minute, you're a friend down. Do you know what I mean? It is. It's very very hard. Very hard. Reservoirs and lakes are large bodies of water that never really warm up that much even in the height of summer and unfortunately they increase in depth quite quickly so as people go out into the water you can quite quickly get out of your depth and with that cold water even even if you're a strong swimmer it can it can take your breath away it can seize your muscles it can stop you from swimming he lost his life too soon just because all of the boys wanted to have a bit of fun in the, in the reservoir it, it does take a big toll on your life and as much as you're not going to think it is, it is. I, I've had good days I've had bad days where I'll sit at home and I'll cry about it but even on the good days I'll, I'll still you still have to have a minute to yourself and disengage from what everyone else is doing because you, 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 he's meant to be there he's just an empty feeling, and yeah. it? Like, it breaks you. I can't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't wish it upon my like my worst, worst enemy. enemy. Literally, I wouldn't ever want anyone to go through what we've had to go through. Honestly, just please don't go in the water. It's not worth it. It's not worth putting your family through this years down the line. Three years, it's still raw. It still hurts. But yet, still people are going in and doing what, you know, it's, it's not worth it. Please listen when we tell you don't go in it. It's not safe. It really is not safe.